Hmm, yeah, The Office is the best show ever. But sometimes you want to stop watching and play some video games. You look to your Xbox and be like, mm, do I want to sit there and play? And sometimes you look down and see your Steam Deck. And that's what you want to play. Welcome to TA Tech. Since I have Windows on my Steam Deck, I decided to play some games with it and share my experience to tell you how well they run. And the first game I'm going to start with is Warzone, which is a little tricky to run given that I can't detect the Steam controller. But there is a workaround that I included in the description below if you're interested in playing Warzone on your Steam Deck. It involves you making notepad, triggering the device controller and making Warzone see the Steam controller so you can play with it, which disables the mouse, which means you have to hold the Steam button when using the mouse and sometimes you have to use the touch screen to get around some stuff, but it's not that bad. So a casual gamer like me doesn't like to deal with these things, but you have to do them if you want to play the games you want to play because the Steam OS cannot run the games because the anti-cheat is not included. Also, using Windows with a touch screen is not really the best. I wish Steam OS supported these games, but it doesn't, that's why I removed it and opted for Windows. Something else I don't like is dealing with game launchers on Windows. It's not something that is intuitive and not everybody can deal with it, but I opted to deal with it because I really want to play Warzone and Halo and all the other games. So what I'm going to do is run the game on the lowest settings first and then go to the highest settings and then choose my preferred settings. I'm going to show you the frame rate the Steam Deck could do at all of these settings so you could decide if you want to flash windows on your steam deck and then playing warzone on it and i gotta tell you even though the windows flashing steps are really clear sometimes it takes you really long to get the hang of it and it took me a whole day to flash windows on my steam deck because there were some issues with detecting the usbs and so many other issues i don't want to get into but i did it finally and it took me a whole day but once i fired the warzone i was really happy about it so let's talk about the gameplay. So at the start of the game, when you see the helicopters showing, the game does stutter for a bit and lags, but it's not really bad. It goes up to like 30 frames per second, but goes catches up to 60 frames per second again. As I'm going to show you now, um, the frame rate here is 60 frames per second. I'm running on the lowest settings possible of the game. It doesn't really look that bad, but some people like to play on high settings. So let's change the settings and look how much frame rates would the high settings give you. So now I changed all the settings to the highest possible. Even enabled ray tracing. Let's see how the game does with this. So as you can see here, it's up to 38 frames. It drops sometimes to 40 frames. So let me quickly get out of the gas and show you here again. As you can see here, the frame rate is around 40, 30 frames per second. Even there's firing and people shooting at me. And I'm here dead, of course. But as you can see, it's not really bad. Even running on the highest settings, it's doable. You can play on 40 frames per second, but I know some people really like to play on 60 frames per second. So if you like 60 frames, I would say go for the lowest settings. You'll be really comfortable with it. The screen is small. You wouldn't really notice it. So it's really fine. And here I've switched the settings to the settings I prefer, which is medium settings. Everything is set to medium. And as you can see here, it's similar to the high settings, but it doesn't really go very low because the high settings sometimes go to the 20s if there's... Um, an airstrike or something but with this one it stays above 30 the whole time which is really the goal for me i like to play on 30 frames per second i don't really care about 60 frames per second so this is the preferred settings for me but if you like those people who really like to play in 60 frames per second i would recommend going for the lower settings because this will give you stable 60 frames per second so that's it for me guys, this was a short video to demonstrate how Warzone runs on the Steam Deck. If you'd like to see more games running on the Steam Deck, please comment them below. I'll keep this series going and show you all the games that could run on the Steam Deck so you can make an informed decision to buy the Steam Deck or install Windows on it. I'm gonna leave the gameplay running until it reaches 5 minutes because YouTube wouldn't recommend my video if it was under 5 minutes. So that's it for me guys, if you like this video give it a thumbs up, if you like the channel, subscribe and peace.